In this video, I'm going to show you how to render a line art from your 3D blockouts. This model here that I quickly sketched out is going to be the subject that we are going to render. So the first thing we're going to want to do is head on over to our render tab and change the render engine from EV to Workbench. Then I'm going to go to Lighting. And under that, I'm going to change it from Studio to Flat. Then under Color, I'll change it from Material to Single. And let's just leave it as White. And after that, I'm going to check Freestyle. Now let's go ahead and hit Render and see what we get. So I'm going to hit F12 to just render this out. And this is what we end up with. Now I want to include some shadows as well. So I'll just minimize this for the moment. And let's just head on over to Options here and check Shadow. So now if we render this, we are going to end up with some shadows. Now, if you want to change the lighting situation in the scene, if you move the lights that you have in your scene and then hit render, it's not going to change anything. So what you need to do in order to manipulate the light in the scene is to come on over to the gear icon that's next to the shadow and click on that. And now you can interact with the sphere that we have here. So I'm just going to perhaps do something like this. And there are a few other options that you can play with, but I'm just going to move the light to the side here and then hit render. And that's going to change the lighting situation in the scene. Now, I also want to change the thickness of this line here. I think it's a little too thick. So let's just perhaps bring it to uh, 0.8 in value and render that again. I'm pretty happy with what this looks like. So we can now go ahead and save this out and open it in a program like Photoshop or Krita and start to sketch on top of this 3D template. Now, one thing I'd like to bring to your attention is that some of these lines here don't end up getting rendered. Same thing with this doorway that we have here. And the reason for this is because we have intersecting meshes. So like this one here, it's intersecting with that wall there. And so it doesn't really show up. So in order to fix this, I'm just going to snap this such that it's flush to that surface behind it. And now if we go ahead and render that, you'll see that that line kind of shows up there. So if you want those lines to show up properly, just make sure that they're sitting flush to the surface. And that's about it. I hope this was informative and thanks for watching.